Greetings gamer guys and gals, this is Envy with Glutton Gaming, and today we're going to be talking about Whimsyshire. You mean the cow level? No! There is no cow level. Whimsyshire is a place where you can find some special loot, special mats, and in it you're going to find a lot of cute, pretty little teddy bears and ponies and flowers. To get to Wimsyshire, you're going to have to farm up something called the Staff of Herding. And to make the Staff of Herding, it requires several mats. So for our first mat here, we're going to get the Black Mushroom, and that can be found in Act 1. I put it on Expert, even though it really doesn't matter. And we're going to go to the Legacy of Cain. Now this is going to start out New Tristram, of course. And we're going to pour out to the Old Ruins. Now the first time through you're going to have to go through all of the quest stuff that you would normally kind of do. Um, like you have to go down to Adria's hut and do that whole thing. I'm going to speed it up here, but you'll want to watch for that. However, the second time you can bypass Adria's hut, you don't have to go down into it. Oh, uh, now here, also you need to, while you're first porting in, you also need to pick up the quest from Leah here. Otherwise, you won't be able to go forward. Now you don't want to go so far into, we're going to go to Cathedral Level 1, you don't want to go so far in that you actually activate a checkpoint. But so here we go. Now those are some big mushrooms. On the map here, this room has two little hallways coming into it, and that mushroom's always there. Now we did this run eight times, we found the mushroom three of those times, so that drop rate's actually pretty good. And once again, as long as you don't activate a waypoint or a checkpoint in the cathedral, then you can go ahead and just hit resume and go right back in. But now we're going to go ahead and we're going to farm up Lyric Shinbone. And we're going to find that in Leoric's Manor, but we're going to get there by, we're going to stay in Act 1 here, and we're going to go down to the Trailing of the Coven, and we're going to go to that Causer Barricade there. We're going to start in the Southern Highlands and run all the way up to Leoric's Manor. However, the second time when you resume, you can go ahead and go straight to the Northern Highlands to get there. And now this one, we did it 12 times, so we found the bone three times, so it's also a very good drop rate. In the Oryx Manor, the shin bone's always going to be off to the right here in this little room before we go up the stairs. It's always in the same exact spot, unlike the mushroom where the spot actually moves. And what we're looking for is this in the fireplace, and we already have it. So now we're going to get the Liquid Rainbow, which is in Act 2, Blood and Sand Quest. Now 
this one is people often have said that the mysterious chest that we're looking for is only found in level two of the mysterious cave, but that's not actually accurate. So here we go. Now what you want to do here is go as far east as you can to start and then cut south. There's these two little inlets here that the mysterious uh, Zavin can be in, and that's one of them. There you see how that looks on the mini-map. And now we have to cut up and go west, and we're going to find the same exact, that well, it looks the exact same, essentially. Now this, the odds here suck. Uh, about one in eight times, the mysterious cave spawns. And of those times, only one in 39 of the total runs did we have the mysterious chest. So I'm actually going to go to Sloth's game here, because he's already found the mysterious vendor that we're looking for, the mysterious merchant, Zavin, right there. And he's the one who's going to let us in. And like I said before, we're looking for the mysterious chest, which will be on the first level. And we're looking for Liquid Rainbow. So I'm just going to zip through here really quickly. And you'll see just right up here, there it is, our mysterious chest. Let me just clear out here really quickly. And I find, if you find the mysterious chest, it seems like it's a 100% drop rate of the Liquid Rainbow at that point. Both Sloth and I got the Liquid Rainbow in this run, so... Bing! There it is! Okay, now we're moving on to Act 3, Siege Breaker. You're going to go to the furthest waypoint on the right there. Um, but you'll see this is actually a resumed game, so I'm just going to run through the portal that popped up for me. Now we're looking for the Caverns of Frost here. If you see ice ball caves, then it's not going to be on that map. In about 50% of the time, it's Caverns of Frost. The other 50% is the ice ball caves. So, looking once again for Caverns of Frost. And the cave will be in one of five spots. And as you run around, you kind of figure that out. But there's one spot right in front of where you spawn, two off to the left, and two off to the right. To fight and now, it, when we're in here, we're going to go to level two, and we're looking for Chiltara. kind of hard to see there, but Chiltara was up there, and he did drop the Gibbering Gemstone this time. However, it took me 59 tries to finally get it. So here we are. Now we're going to farm up the plan. This is actually Sloth's game, because he didn't have the plan yet. And to do that, we just farm Azul. And I've had good luck with this one. It only took us five times through to get this. And we're going to start on the second to last quest in Act in Act 4, and then we go up there to the Cursed Keep, or whatever that is, and here we go.
you formed with all of those, the last thing you have to do uh, is go to Act 2, and that little girl merchant that's kind of right by the waypoint there, she actually sells Ritz Bell for, I, for, I believe, 100,000 gold, so it's not bad at all. And then just go to any blacksmith, go ahead and learn the plan that you just found, and make your make your staff of herding. It's that simple. Uh, actually, stay tuned. I'm going to make another video all just about getting into Windsor Shire and just showing a full run of it so you can kind of see some of the drops and the drop rates. And then, as always, go ahead and give us a thumbs up down there. Leave us a comment about how you think we did, what you think we could do differently, or if things change. Uh, for reference, this is the 2.0.5 patch that we're showing this on, so things may change in the future. But as usual, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.